Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be looking at a question from ISC Paper 1, 2023. In this question, we have to design a class called NumDude to check if a given number is a duty number or not. Now, what's a duty number? A duty number is a positive integer that is a perfect cube such that the sum of its digits is equal to the cube root of the number. Let's try to understand this with an example. So here is a number 5,822. If you find the sum of its digits, you'll get 18. And then if you cube 18, you get the same original number 5832. So we can say that 5832 is a duty number. Some of the members of the class are given below, so we have to create the class as numdude. The data member is num, where we'll be storing the positive number. Then there are some methods. Numdude is the constructor. Input function is used to receive the value of num. Sum digits is a recursive function, which is going to find the sum of the digits. Is dude is going to check if the number num is a duty number or not using the sum digits function. And we also have to create main to create an object of the class and call the functions accordingly. So let's write down this program. So this is our class numdude. We have to create a data member num. So I can write int num. You can also make it private if you want. And then we have the constructor, the default constructor. Where we just initialize the number to zero. Then we have the input function. So public void input. This is where we create the scanner object. And we ask for the number from the user. We give a message. Enter the number. So we will input it in the num variable. Now we have to make sure that the number is positive and that's why we will use mat.abs to convert it into a positive number. Next, we have to create a function called sum digits and this is going to be a recursive function the return type will be int so i'll write public int sum digits x was the argument now if the value of x is less than 10 that means it's a single digit number and in that case the sum is going to be the same so we just return x itself otherwise we return x modulus 10 so we extract one digit using modulus modulus 10 and then we call the sum digits again with the remaining number or you can say with the remaining digits so x divide by 10 Next, we have public void is dude. This is going to check if the number is duty number or not. So I will be finding the sum of the digits. So sum digits of num. 
and then I'm going to find the cube. After finding the cube, we check if the original number num is same as the cube or not. If so, then we can print duty number else not a duty number. Next, we create the main function also. This is where we create the object of the class. So we write numdude obj equals new numdude. So we are using that default constructor that we created earlier over here. And through this object, we call the input function. We call the is dude function because is dude is in turn going to execute some digits and it's going to print whether the number is duty number or not. So our program is complete. Let's check the output now. Five eight three two. So you can see that it's printing duty number, and if I give any other number, let's say five three eight two, then it's not a duty number. So I hope you have understood how to solve this problem. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next class.